Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use app images on Ubuntu 24.04, LTS release and newer. Now for people that are not familiar with what an app image is, the easiest way to think about them is as a portable standalone application that doesn't need to be installed and therefore is technically compatible with any Linux distribution out there. Now one advantage of this, of course, is that since the configuration for the application itself is stored within the app image, it's entirely possible for you to take that app image, pop it to a flash drive, then pop it into another machine and it'll just run as expected. I suppose in other words, it's kind of the Linux equivalent of running a standalone Windows EXE program. As expected, you can download and then just double click on it to run. So for example, something like Rufus, which is a popular Windows only USB imaging tool, which I personally use many times in the past. And the way it works is you literally download the application, double click on it, and then it runs. So no installation required or anything like that. However, coming back to Ubuntu, whilst you might find that you can still download and set app images to execute as programs, you'll often find that if you double click on it, nothing's gonna happen. It'll just not do anything at all. Now the reason for this is simple really. The underlying Fuse or file system and user space package is no longer pre-installed in Ubuntu, but like many things in Linux, this is easy rectified. And the way to do this is simply open up a terminal session and then run the following command, which is sudo apt install libfuse2. Now in my case, I've already installed it ahead of time, but at this point, we can just close down the terminal. We've done all we need to do. Next time you're gonna launch an app image, you'll find that this should function as expected. So to confirm this is the case, I'm going to now download and launch the app image version of Caden Live, which coincidentally is the video editing software that I use to produce videos for this channel. Okay, so download's now finished. So what we want to do is right click on the file, go to properties, and take this option at the bottom here where it says executable as a program. Give that a toggle, close on the window. And now when we double click this, we're expecting it to launch as normal. So let's just do that. As you can see, the application is now launched as expected. So to prove that it's the app image, let's go to help, about Caden Live, and there you go. As you can see here, you're using the app image package. And that's it really. So in conclusion, app images is one of the big free universal packaging formats that are available on Linux alongside Flatpak and Snap. And whilst it's probably not as widely adopted as the latter two, it does have the distinct advantage of portability and also the fact that you don't ever need to install the application in a traditional manner. Now, personally, I don't really use many app images, mainly because I prefer flat packs, but it's still great to know that there are other valid options available out there. But in either case, thanks for watching this video today. And if you found it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video as normal, and then also smash that subscribe plus, you know, give it a good old smashing, just to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye now.